Hello, uh, traditional Sunday night introduction to me reading vlog. It is currently the 20th of December, Sunday the 20th of December. So next Friday is Christmas Day. Uh, I will be here with Susie. We'll probably have some delicious food. I've got some presents to unwrap down there as well. And we've also kind of had our own Christmas Day because we were going to be spending it apart, but then national, well, not national, just part lockdown of our country that includes us. We're right on the outskirts of it, but that means neither of us can go see our parents, so we're going to see each other instead. She's currently through there reading her book, which is going to come and talk to you about in the next instalment. And uh, I have just started reading Accidental Death of an Anarchist by Dario Fo. I am enjoying it so far, and I intend to do a full review of it soon. Well, did I tell, tell you the date? It's um, the 22nd of December, Tuesday the 22nd of December. So today's radio show went out earlier as well, so now I need to start working on the next one. It's currently Tuesday the 22nd of December. I am reading Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga Tokarczuk. It's very good so far. It's like translated Polish literary crime fiction and it's very good. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, doing it as a sort of unofficial buddy read with Charles Heathcote as well. Uh, great YouTuber, definitely check his channel out. As I say, I'm enjoying it so far and I do plan to do a full review, so keep your eyes peeled for that coming soon. I guess most of this week's vlog will be Christmas, although it's going to be a quiet Christmas. Uh, should be seeing Susie, assuming we both need to get COVID tests, you see. So we're assuming that we're both going to be either negative or both positive, like that we're both going to have the same thing. But if that happens, we will spend Christmas together. If not, I guess Christmas with Biggie, because uh, I'm not allowed to go and see my mum. Hello all of you fine people of the internet, it is currently Wednesday the 23rd of December um, It's half past one in the afternoon, I've been awake for about an hour and a half, two hours uh, I went to the Covid testing centre earlier to get a Covid test uh, So I should get results back in 48 hours Odds are I'm okay, but uh, you know, always better to check these things I suppose wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I mean, uh, Susie had warned me to wait for like a 45 minute queue. And my friend Joe told me that it would probably make me gag and sting quite a bit. And there was like a queue of three people. And then it didn't make me gag, although I think that's because I don't have any tonsils. So it said to swab your tonsils, or if not, just the roof of your mouth at the back of your throat. And so I think because I didn't have any, I don't have any tonsils, I had them removed. It didn't make me gag. Uh, and then the bit of the nose, it didn't sting, but it did tickle. So it was kind of uncomfortable, like, you know, somebody sitting on you and tickling your feet or something. But hey ho, so that's all done. I'm still reading Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga Tokarczuk, and uh, it's still very good. Page 156 of 266 at the moment, so I might finish it either today or tomorrow. And then I guess I can choose my next book, so bear with me. I think I might go for A Daughter's A Daughter by uh, Agatha Christie, writing as Mary Westmacott. So I finished reading all of the, the books that Agatha Christie published under her own name, but I still have the uh, Mary Westmacott books. Uh, six uh, she wrote about her... Okay, famous for her ingenious crime books and plays, Agatha Christie also wrote about crimes of the heart in six bittersweet and very personal novels, as compelling and memorable as the best of her work. And I've read one of them, I've read The Rose and the Yew Tree. So now it's time to read A Daughter's A Daughter, I think. So that's where I'm at. Uh, obviously with Susie, I don't really know what, what's happening at the moment because um, uh, because she's waiting for her results, I'm waiting for mine. I mean, she says she's happy to come over here if she shows clean because it's very unlikely that I would have it if I didn't have it from her, which is kind of why it's, I wasn't sure whether to go and get the test. I actually kind of checked in with her this morning before I left to see whether she'd, um, if she'd received her results and she was clear, then I probably wouldn't have needed to get the test, but um, it can't hurt, can it? So, And who knows, it could be one of those weird things where it turns out I got it from somebody at Tesco or something. That's where we're at. <laughs> you excited about Christmas, Biggie? He's very excited about Christmas. Look, barely keep himself off. Oh. Once. Oh. Come on, Biggie. Give it a bop. Yeah! <laughs> so here it is! Specials! Oh, what's Susie got? Oh wow! Ice tea? Yes, I thought the bottles were cool and I know you like cool bottles. 
<laughs> so I got you a collection of teas. Ooh, uh. that's very nice, thank you. I got you one of each one I could find. <laughs> oh, baby. They're very cool. Yeah, I like the patterns on them. Every biggie. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth and Tabitha and Richard. <laughs> Maybe one that I might already have used and gone all the way through and done all the recipes in. <laughs> Not for the kiddies, biggie baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Oh, you set mine were hard to get into. <laughs> Put that there in case you want to be used for something. <gasps> it's a Rubik's Cube! <laughs> oh, right, I'm gonna be gone. That's it, no more Christmas now. I've sold it. Right, done! That was really quick. I think that was faster than it because they go. I can't, I can't do that quickly. Is no, it? there's a trick to not getting it caught. That's what used to drive me nuts. <laughs> Right. Right, how do we reckon we solve it? There are websites for such things. I've not looked into it. I think uh, one option. What I can do is mess it up a little bit. <laughs> Peel the thing stickers off <laughs> and put them back on. That's cheating. You're going to be on the naughty list. Uh, there's no naughty list just this year, I heard. <laughs> 2020s are so buggered, there's no point anymore. It was a write off. Look, I've mostly done, done orange. There are only other oranges. Yeah. Um, I think that needs to be messed up a little bit more. Give it here. No, don't let me mess it up because I've almost finished it. I've almost sold it. Look, it's sold. <laughs> it. Oh, I'm so impressed. Look, that one's all blue. That one's all white. That one's orange. That one's all blue again. <laughs> and that one's blue again. Wow. And that one's blue too. This was another little special. Oh, it's like an embroidery thing. It's an embroidery kit to make your own pineapple. Very cool. Thank you, babe. Yes. It's, it's the kind of thing I used to sell at Hobbycraft. Yeah. They had, it was all fruits. They had pineapple and watermelon and I think a tomato. Hmm. Embroider over the image. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. I'll keep this here and then I can work on it whenever I'm around. That's, that's what I thought. That's cool, thank you babe. Okay, we have some cards here. It is oh. almost as cute as Biggie. I'm still investigating. Okay, I call her Donna. Okay, it's that's official. good. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Thank you Donna. She gave you some love. Okay, so the thing from Fran, yeah? The one from my boss. My, well, no longer my boss when she comes back. But... Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, that's kind of cool. She got me a wreck this journal. <laughs> and I've wanted to do one of these for ages. So the things, have you seen these before? No, tell us about it. So they give you like tasks to do. So carry it with you everywhere you go. Follow the instructions on every page. Order's not important. So add your own page numbers. Crack the spine, so we can do that now. <laughs> right, there we go. Crack the spine, there's a place for grocery lists. Close your eyes, connect the dots from memory. Cut strips, do a weaving. Make smudges of colour, rub with your fingers, add water. It does sound fun. Mm. You can drink this, but you oh, probably... Oh no, it's something really spicy, isn't it? Well, it's not really spicy. I don't think it's spicy at all. Oh, what a banger. This one's the sad one because it's got the line, wish I was at home for Christmas. Balsamic vinegar. In a nice bottle that I thought you'd appreciate. Yes, once I've used this on about two salads. Mm. Okay. No, 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 no. This was made by my work. This is my work. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Christmas. Mindful Bites UK, snack with intention, my lord. Looks like it'll last you to March. Mm. Oh, that's cute. Christmas Easter. Biggie, what's this? It is mess. He doesn't like it. No, he does not. 
Veganatoni organic Christmas cake. Oh. Dark chocolate hazelnut spread. Oh. Yeah. What's this one then? This one is regular chocolate hazelnut spread. Yum yum on the toast and possibly on these. Cantucci biscotti al mondi. Al mondi biscotti all the way from my home country of Italy. Oh no, I have gone <laughs> off the accent again. Oh no. You are turning to a very strange accent. What, what is this? <gasps> Veganatoni organic Christmas cake. Oh, it's got <gasps> sour. What's that sour? Yes, yeah, sourdough. Oh. Organic vegan Christmas cake, naturally leavened with sourdough starter. If it's anything like panettone, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I bet it will. <gasps> oh, it is. Oh, oh, that's going to be lush. Well, that's dessert sorted. Yes. Pop that back in there. A bit of ice cream. Lovely. Cool. Thank you, Art Centre job. <laughs> oh, when the snowman brings the snow. Is that this one? Yes, it is. Yeah. Right. Ray, Ray Wood? Can't remember the guy from Wizard. No, do I. I remember his beard, though. I think it was something Wood. I think it might have been Ray Wood. I had to wrap this really well, otherwise the paper would rip. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Oh. It's a deluxe weighted blanket. Well, I wish it. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. And it matches your bed colours. Yes, it does. Does the woman come included with it? <laughs> Only on Wednesdays. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. It's 25 pounds. It's, this weighs three biggies. <laughs> Susie's main present. Oh, this is the main present? Yes. Or it's the one I'm most excited to give you anyway. And I haven't looked at it myself. So I've ordered it. I requested it from a local maker. Oh. So, an art centre connection? An art centre connection. I think you know them though. Oh! Every day. Oh. Oh. Stocking. Yeah, it's a Christmas stocking for you to keep your bits and bobs in. The tired dressmaker. Yeah, that's Julia. Watch me. I yeah. remember her shop. Yeah, oh. shop shop doesn't exist anymore, but the tired dressmaker does. Oh, this is lovely. And then it's got your little scissors. You know, the amount of times you've almost bought me a pair of these. Mm. Like, I know the craftsmanship is everything. Tape measure. See, yes. This is cool. Yeah. This can hang up somewhere. And I like how slithering it is as well. Yeah. There were a few different ones, so I picked that one out. Let the bells ring out for Christmas. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Lacrimosa. Who did this? Did you do this? Yeah. That's amazing. Is it actually the music for Lacrimosa? Attention to detail. Oh, I like it. Biggie, what do you think? Do you like it? I think, does that mean he likes it? He's, he's licking like... his lips, I guess. So. Yeah. Oh, who's on that? That's add cool. My, add this to my cooking portfolio. Um, I could explain what we've got so far and what's next if you'd like. So, this, what was that actually? That's a good start. That was the thing that I got from. Little, it sort of collapsed a little bit. Uh, here we have some mushroom stuff, pigs in blankets, parsnips, potatoes, cooked a la Susie. Uh, in here we have some more bits. Of, oh shit, that's right at the back. Ah! Everything's under control. Here we have stuffing balls. Mm hmm. So I'm gonna get that. Stuffing ball for Susie, pop that there. Stuffing ball for Dane, pop that there. Okay, then I believe next up we have the vegetables. Because you may notice it's looking a bit beige at the moment. Let me scoop it there. There will be one minute. So we have the scoop. Pop that there for now. Just a big old scoop of veg. 
Oh yes, yeah, scoop of Christmas veg there. Oh, give me another scoop, second scoop. Oh, that'll do, that might be too much. Just about right, I think. Uh, likewise, on my plate. And we've got the high tech equipment here. So I'm just gonna snap that onto the gravy. Oh my God, the gravy's got film. <laughs> Um, what does that YouTuber say? Mix it in? Stir it in? Oh! No, we're going to remove as much as we can. It's because you want, you like thick gravy, you see. Oh, so it's all my fault. Okay. Well, no, it's it's your fault for liking thick gravy and then my fault for letting it cool down. Right, I think that's good. That looks good. <laughs> right, you ready? Just all over for you. Yes, please. How's that? Beautiful. Good start anyway. You can have what's left as well, I think. I'll we'll have some mint sauce. Oh, and we've forgotten, of course, the pièce de résistance. Oh, oh, nice little festive bit of curly kale. Looks like holly. <laughs> yeah, totally what I was going for. Totally planned this. Okay, there's the little bit of kale. Is there anything else? I feel like I've missed something. Have I missed anything? Well, I've missed the mis mint sauce on mine. Do you want any other sauces of any kind? I'll take a bit of mint and then I'm good. Thank you very much. Right. It looks really good. It's fucking banging, doesn't it? Mmm. Perfect. Lovely, thank um, you. Oh, have I given it? I haven't given it a spritz yet. Here you go. Ho, Thank ho, you ho, very Christmas. much. Thank you. Christmas dinner is here. Whenever I get gloomy with the state of the world, so do you, Grant. He <laughs> finished with his prostitute, and he's here. <laughs> blurry Susie eating blurry dinner. Mm. But I don't see that. Seems to me that love is everywhere. What is it, blurry? Often it's not particularly dignified or... Oh, I've turned autofocus on. It's always I think there. Oh, oh my God. Fathers and sons, mothers oh, and daughters. Look at that. Right, I've got to go eat before it gets cold. Girlfriend. Said I, I've been reading uh, A Daughter's A Daughter by Agatha Christie. Uh, I think I'll give that just a 3.5 out of 5. It was all right. Um, it's, it wasn't really a romance, although it kind of was. It was more like what would be a contemporary novel 80 years ago. And um, it's about... Basically, this this mother has, is, has like a very close relationship with her daughter, and this man comes along and she kind of wants to marry this guy, and the daughter cock blocks her, and then the guy tells her to get rid of the daughter, and we go from there really. So it's lots of like family drama and stuff. Not really my cup of tea, not really my kind of plot, but um, I enjoy Christie's writing regardless. And uh, the good thing about this as well is that she had loads of like really great one-liners. Like what was one of them? It was like something like. In a flat, nothing is secret, not even the plumbing. So yeah, I enjoyed that one. Then I read Le Concombre contre le Grand Patatasseur by Nikita Mandrika. And this literally means the cucumber versus the big potato. -er. It took me a while to figure out what pat patatasseur meant. And it turns out it's because it's not really a word. It is the French equivalent of potato. -er. Uh, it was quite complex reading actually because there's a lot of stuff like uh, it would have a, it would spell out like K E S K E S A Y or something, and what's actually being said there is Keskese, which isn't spelled like that. So they use like the phonetic spelling of it, which is a non-native French speaker was quite difficult, and again lots of slang and stuff. But I did learn some words for various other uh, other like garden vegetables, like unradi, that's a radish. And uh, there was also a Brussels sprout in this, and I think that was uh, un shurev. So um, yeah, that's kind of handy to have over Christmas, you know. <laughs> so voila, c'est bon, je pense. I'll give it a four out of five because it was a good challenge. Then we had Unan La Tom by Charlotte Frero. Um, I was expecting this to be a French read. It turns out it does have a little bit. It has parapluie ouvert, le vent s'amuse beaucoup, les champignons aussi, and it says. Umbrellas open, the wind will you know entertain you lots, also the mushrooms. And 
it's this, basically. There you go. You've now read the book. But it is quite nice, you know? So yeah, three out of five, I guess. I mean, it's nice and all that, but there's just not much to it. And then we have Le Chasse Star by Nicolas Vial, text by Marion Paoli. And uh, this is about a cat that becomes a movie star, but it also follows like the end of the cat, like the end of the career. So after like the hits dry up and stuff, it follows what happens to the cat after that as well. It's about 80 odd pages um, and it was pretty good. Fairly difficult to read. Ces voitures, ces maisons deviendront des objets de culte. Il mène une vie trépidante d'un pays à l'autre, au gré des tonnages et touché à tous les genres. Science fiction, pirates, remakes. I just say that in English, I guess. The planet Louis Apart. Alright, that's me French. Uh, it was it was good. Uh, probably three, four, five out of five. You know, tick some boxes. So. That's where we're at, and it is the end of this week's reading vlog, because it's a Sunday, so, Sunday? Because it's a Sunday. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Let me know what you got up to over Christmas. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.